things So best believe I only play to win I've been to hell and back But heaven I ain't never been They act confused when you live a life in spite of them But this my truth to live My consequences don't apply to them That's your girl beats by Melody I know in the more recent years We've had a like a influx of female rappers And I just wanted to You know just go over a few things That you know we go through And hopefully me sharing tips Hopefully it can help another person Alright so let's get right into it Number one, that you need to know, being a female rapper, female rappers or producer, you you might face a lot of doubt right from the beginning. People might already count you out, already discredit you, you know, just for being, you know, a woman. You know, they might already think like, oh, she ain't this, she ain't that, she ain't got bars. So you just need to know that you might be discredited from the jump. Even with there being so many female rappers now, a lot of them don't write their stuff and it kind of discredits other artists, female rappers who do write their their own material and do make sure that they are authentic and their words are their words. If you're a lyrical female rapper, you, you need to know that your fan base might be more men might be more men who want to listen to you. The the female rappers that the women take to the most, you know, they, they're talking about certain things. Like if you push this uh, provocative image and brag about materialistic things, then you know, you, it's a certain crowd, certain audience that you want to pick up. But I think that's why we love Nicki Minaj so much because she has the ability to be lyrical and then also she can turn around and hop on a song with Ari uh, Ariana Grande. So she can do a song with G Herb, Pop Smoke, and then switch up. She's versatile like that. She has that balance. All right, my next tip is that you may face a lot of manipulation and pressure. You know, and as women, a lot of us, we, we can't even help it. Like, we do care a whole lot about the male opinion whether if women want to admit that or not you know we do so that leaves us sometimes being more vulnerable to being controlled I'm like i've heard certain bars by very popular female rappers and i'm like i know no woman wrote that ain't no way no woman wrote that that's too nasty like <laughs> ain't no woman thought that to say that out her mouth being a girl coming into this game, like you really gotta have your morals straight. You gotta have your foundation straight, your foundation solid. Make sure that you are not gonna be swayed and turned and led astray. I don't care what they say they can do for you financially, don't sell out. Because you you selling out is gonna lead the next generation of women down a certain path. And that's what we're seeing now. We can't say anymore that it's just a song because people are really doing these things in real life. You can't you can't fight it. What you hear, the way your brain interprets it, like you gonna start to think certain things are okay. Last year I read this book called God Save the Queens by Kathy Landoli. And it was just interesting to see that there is so many other female artists like that go through the same exact thing. Like being discredited, being manipulated, and just really taking so many things on the chin, you know, just in, in silence. You know, a lot of times it's usually a man who's in power, who just makes you feel pressured to do certain things and make you feel like your whole career is on the line. And, and we got to realize, like, some people are ego driven, you know, in situations like that, it's not even worth it. It's not worth you compromising yourself uh, to, you know, for a career, you know, because at the end of the day, you have to face you. You got to look in that mirror. You got to be the one who's there <clears throat> on judgment day. And it's not worth selling out. All right. The next one, dating can be tricky. It's like if you are an artist, then you most likely spend a lot of time in these type of scenes. It's common for you to meet another artist and end up being involved with them and being, you know, ending up 
in a relationship with them or, or doing whatever y'all do. You know, because y'all both in that same space. So, you know, you usually going to find a person like that. And that can get tricky sometimes because if you are a rapper and you want to date a rapper, sometimes there's competition. It is not always healthy competition. You got to make sure that whether if he's a rapper or not, that he is very, very, very secure with you uh, pursuing your dream as a female rapper or producer. And be sure that they're going to be secure with you being in a male dominated industry and working with a lot of men. Hopefully he can be supportive and, and, and be there for you and help protect you in those type of spaces. All right, the next one. Uh, you can lose yourself completely if you are not grounded and if you are not being guided by the right spirit. The right spirit, I say the Holy Spirit. If you are being guided by something else, you just gonna go astray completely. You know, it starts little by little. You know, it starts by seeing certain things in your songs or being around certain crowds and then it can just spiral out of control. So that's why you really gotta stay stay grounded and let your no be no let your yes be yes you know if you are really against something don't let nobody talk you out of your morals don't let nobody talk you out of your common sense don't let nobody buy you out of your common sense <laughs> the money is not worth it the money is not worth it in the end because like i said you have to face you at the end of the day the next one that you might have encountered too just know that some people might say that they want to collaborate with you but really they just trying to talk to you they just trying to get their foot in the door or whatever but you gotta know who's really about about their business and who's not this is something that happens a lot right i gotta say i love atlanta you know, Atlanta's my second home, but whew, you it happens a lot out there where you have men who know that women moved there. Everybody moved there and they trying to pursue a certain dream, so they'll they'll sell you a dream. They get you down there, talk all sweet, but no. Like I said, don't let nobody don't let nobody knock you off your square. I know men who have admitted doing this to women. Like, it's like, I think, I feel like that's like their favorite pickup line. Like, <laughs> yeah. And this last one is to just be safe. I ain't even gonna lie. When it comes to this business, I've been placed in some very, very dangerous uh, positions. And I really could avoid, of avoided you know those situations if i was being guided by the right spirit and if i was more mindful of the energy i was putting out and the words i was putting out my language i used to make some ratchet music i used to make some very ratchet music and when you are doing that like i was saying before like you are attracting a certain audience to you you are attracting certain spirits to you so be very mindful of your words it's, it's it is not just music it's not just a song it's not just something that you can turn off you can't turn off your subconscious mind when you take in that music you take it in so I, that goes on both sides be mindful of what you put out there as an artist and be mindful of what you're listening to you pray for discernment and make sure you are being guided by the right spirit like proverbs 18 21 said life and death are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof it's never just been a song it's groups of people that put a lot of money into this for specific reasons they push certain artists for certain reasons. They push certain agendas for certain reasons. They didn't play time. I feel like majority of people know this by now. Don't let 
the next generation just end up repeating the same mistakes and just keep getting more and more wicked. Like we can turn it all around. There was a quote by a poet named Allen Ginsberg, I believe. And he said, whoever controls the media, the images, controls the culture. Look at it. Look around and tell me our music hasn't controlled and affected our culture. We gotta do better. So to sum it all up, as a female rapper, just know what you're getting yourself into. Make sure you're being guided by the right spirit and be mindful of what you are putting out there and be mindful of what you are listening to. All right, and that's all I got to say. Um, it's your girl Beats by Melody and I'm signing out. More content like this, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Turn your post notifications on because it's must see TV. All right? All right, I'm out. Where he say, I make you hit that replay Cause I know that you can relate Authentic to this false reality